Yes. Professor Lee. Is it the case that nanothermite or thermite is the one of the prime uh, elements or the prime um, devices used uh, by controlled demolition experts to cut through steel girders? No, I would say absolutely not. Okay. And in, in fact, I think what's important here, though, if I may, is that we're not really talking about a, a demolition theory. No. We're talking about a deceptive demolition theory. And nanothermite can be used in a number of ways, for example, to provide fire that wouldn't have otherwise been there for lack of oxygen, for example. Uh, they can also produce um, explosive effects, and it can be hidden to some degree, maybe better than, than, than other things. So why are we devoting so much attention to it if it's not to has would have nothing to do with a demolition uh, hypothesis so I tried to answer that we really don't have a demolition hypothesis we have a deceptive demolition hypothesis in my opinion people did not say it wasn't a, a question we're going to demolish the World Trade Center towers the question was how are we going to demolish the World Trade Center towers and make it look like planes caused the towers to fall so then we're looking for things that can be applied to the World Trade Center Tower. And building seven down when in fact it was some other sort of high technology affair. I, I'm, just, I'm still grappling with that. Uh, okay. That suggests that um, the, uh, let's put it this way, that the uh, presence of nanothermite is not a fingerprint of a controlled demolition. demolition. I think we've agreed on that. So here's, a, here's an analogy I, I give. So we found um, residues that appear very much like nanothermite. I think in the next presentation you'll see a stronger conclusion to that. Um, we've found metallic microspheres that, that uh, form on these red chips, look just like nanothermite residues, and in fact have the same chemical fingerprint of nanothermite of thermite residues. So it's like the analogy I use is that scientists believe that uh, Saturn's moon Titan, there's a moon around Saturn, has an atmosphere containing methane. They only have one real strong clue about that. That's the wavelength of the light being received at the Earth. They don't argue about it, though. Nobody says, how did the methane get there? Why is it there? They, they know it's there. So it's the same sort of thing with this evidence. If we find the residues of thermitic materials in the World Trade Center dust. We have evidence for the extreme temperatures that really are only explained by thermitic materials, unless someone else has a, a solid experimentally proven hypothesis that, that could compete. We're stuck with the idea that we found thermitic residues in the World Trade Center dust. We can't deny that. We can't necessarily say, well, controlled demolition people they don't use nanothermite to bring buildings down. It, it, it's the same as with the moon. Um, the other moons don't have methane on it, so Titan couldn't have it on it. Mm -hmm. Do you see the analogy I'm trying to make? Does that make sense? Okay. Uh, I'm, work, I'm working on it. Okay. <laughs> uh, <coughs> Mr. 